Hi everyone, I've been getting a lot of questions on how to record recipes in the Baratastic app. So I'm going to show you, this is a screen recording of how to do it. So you're going to go to your apps, you're going to select Baratastic, if that's your app, it's the only one I know how to use. Okay, so now you want to add a recipe. At the bottom center of the screen, you'll see the green plus sign. We're going to select that. And then you'll see the little circles pop up. We're going to go to the one that says daily log. Now you'll see your day pop up, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So at breakfast, if we're just going to do breakfast for example, you'll see to the right zero calories and then add food. Select on add food. Okay. Then you'll see your screen pop up, barcode, other tracking methods, recent food, favorites, my foods and meals, recipes. So you're going to want to click recipes. And then you'll see that green bar pop up that says create recipe. So you'll select create recipe. And then you can go through and you can scan your items. So if you're going to do that, down on the screen you'll see recipe name, servings, non-packaged foods, packaged brand name foods, okay? So first let's name our recipe. So we'll call this one Cheesecake Fluff, oh, let's learn to spell here, Fluff, good night, Fluff, and I'm going to call this Low Carb, okay, and I'm going to say that this makes four servings. Okay, and then you can either use the microphone to enter your ingredients. That's not going to be as accurate as if you actually scan package labels. But say you've got a piece of fruit and you can't scan that package label. So then, you know, there's a little rub there. So what we're going to do is I'm going to scan the food. So my first food is going to be the cream cheese. So I'm scanning that label. Okay, and let's say I used two tablespoons of that. At the top right in the orange section, it says cream cheese spread original. If I needed to change the, the servings amount, so you see cream cheese spread original with the check mark. Below that, you see add to favorites. Below that, you see a two, and next to the two, there's a little down arrow. So if I'd use three tablespoons, I could select there. See next to that where it says tablespoons and there's a down arrow? Go to tablespoons and it gives you other options like grams, okay? So say tablespoons and let's say I used four tablespoons, which would be a quarter cup. So then I can hit four and then do the green check mark where it, see it says fraction, decimal, then there's a check mark. Select the check mark and then go back up to the top where it says cream cheese spread original in the orange section and then hit the check mark. Okay, then we're going to add another item. So let's say we're going to add heavy whipping cream. So go down where it says non-packaged foods, then below that it says packaged name brand foods, and then it says tap the barcode scanner to add packaged foods to your recipe. I'm going to select the barcode scanner, scan my barcode, Sometimes it gets a little hinky, doesn't want to do it. All right, so it's not wanting to do that, of course. Try this way. There we go. Okay, so say I used, uh, let's say I used half a cup of that. So you'll see the top where it says heavy whipping cream ultra. Then below that, you'll see add to favorites, 50 calories. Below that, you'll see a one with a drop-down arrow, and you'll see a tablespoon. And usually it'll let you select cups, but for some reason it's not doing that on this. So go to the one, and say I added uh, four tablespoons as a quarter cup. So say I added a half cup, that would be eight tablespoons. And you can look up those conversions online. And then above those numbers, you'll see fraction decimal check mark. Select check mark. Go back to the top. Heavy whipping cream ultra. Then there's a check mark. Select the check mark. Okay. Now you're back to that menu screen where you're at, or recipe screen. So 
Go all the way to the bottom of that. And at the bottom part of the screen, see where it says next in green? You're going to select next. And you can see at the top, it says cheesecake fluff, low carb, 104 or 140 calories per serving. I think I got the serving signs. Let's go back to edit. Yes, so I put four servings. You can see that at the top. Recipe name, cheesecake fluff, servings four. Okay, so go back down to next at the very bottom in the green. Okay, and then it tells you per serving. It has 140 calories, one gram of protein, three carbs, and 14 fat. Now, if it had um, like erythritol or something in it, and there were um, sugars, uh, sugar alcohols, you have, for some reason, Baratastic will not subtract the sugar alcohols to give you net carbs. So you'll have to do that yourself, um, which is a flaw in Baratastic. I don't understand why it does that. But in the final screen, it will select, it will deduct the fiber for you um, and to give you those net carbs. So we're going to go to the very bottom of the screen and see where it says save and log. So if you were going to eat it right now, you would select save and log. If you were going to just save the recipe, you would hit save. So save and log. That was just my um, Alexa. So we'll go to save and log at the bottom. And then, you've, mm -hmm. then you see that logged at breakfast time. Okay. And that is how you do a recipe.